Hey everybody. So confession and that confession is I don't really like sandwiches. I know, I know it might be a disappointment for some people. My husband is one who loves sandwiches. I think he just grew up on sandwiches and I didn't, but today I am going to make something that I actually would eat as a sandwich and that is a no tuna salad sandwich. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you've made it. It is made with chickpeas and all the fixings of what you would normally find in a tuna sandwich. I actually have had it just with, um, with regular like lettuce. So it doesn't have to go in a sandwich, you can just eat it on its own, but I think it's just a really nice, delicious substitute to tuna because we don't always have to have something that's, uh, that's, that's meat product, right? We can spend a little bit more time making things plant-based and eating it because the body actually really prefers more wholesome plant foods, but that's your decision. Anyway, here's an example of how you can have a sandwich that is not tuna, but, uh, but actually tastes like tuna. So I will uh, prep some of these things. I already prepped some, but just with you, I wanted to show you just a very quick way of making, is it called mise en place? I don't know, maybe I'm making that up, but just the, the things, the things that we'll be putting into the pseudo tuna salad. So I just chopped up some celery and there's a little bit of pickles and I still have some basil left. So I will be putting a little bit of fresh basil leaves in there and then a little bit of red onions, just a little. I don't love too much um, raw onions in pretty much anything. I prefer onions cooked, but in this particular dish, it's okay to have just a little tad, just maybe a tablespoon, just like that. And then we have capers and a little bit of maple syrup and tahini, Dijon mustard, and of course the chickpeas. Just one can of chickpeas and salt and pepper. And that's it. So let's assemble. Move this over here. And then the fun part, I think, is the assemblage. So drain the chickpeas if you're using the can. And then we are using tahini, which as you know is sesame paste. We will be using about three tablespoons of that. So I'm just going to eyeball it. One, two, three. Okay. And a tablespoon of capers. I'm just going to put this in here. If you don't like capers, you don't have to put it in. Mustard, Dijon mustard, and a little bit of maple syrup. If you are watching your sugar, you definitely don't have to put any syrup in there. And then all the fixings that we just did, the celery, the pickles, the onions, and basil, and a little bit of cracked pepper and just a little bit of salt. Just don't need much because um, the pickles and the capers are pretty salty. Okay, now the fun part is potato masher. Just mash. And really, this is up to you. I like to mash it quite well so that it's, I don't really know that I'm eating chickpeas if you really want to pretend like it's tuna although I love chickpeas, so I don't really mind, but just mash it to the consistency that you like, and then you can just make sandwiches with the salad. Or, like I said, you can just add it to any salad that you're having as a really good source of protein. The consistency of that, see, it does kind of look like tuna, right? 